Hello, my name is Grace. Today I'm going to read the Bible story. Mm, the Bible title is Abraham's Big Test. Abraham and Isaac. God promised Abraham and a son. Son and from that son, many distants who would bless the whole world. But Abraham and his wife Sarah were too old to have a children. Twenty years went by, still Abraham trusted God's promise. When he was hundred and Sarah was ninety, God rem remained them for that, for his promise. Sarah was going to have a baby. That means like for twenty years has gone and still they were not like not living I they were still trusting God and they were trusting God and praying to God and trust God's promise and when he was hundred hundred and Sarah was ninety God remained them for his promise. Sarah was going to have a baby. Like so when he was hundred years old and Sarah was ninety um, God has gave Sarah the baby. Now he has a baby. She has a baby. When their son was born, Sarah was so joyful that he laughed. God has brought me a laughter. She said so. Then may they name their son Isaac, which means he laughs. Like their son was born and Sarah was so joyful and happy. So he was laughing and God brought and Sarah said, God, me a, God has brought me a laughter. Like that means God made me happy so much for this. And so they named their son Isaac. That means laugh. He laughs. Laugh. So cute. Oh, there's a question. Question God has promised Abraham a son who will distance would bless the whole world. True or false? True. When Isaac was a boy, God tested Abraham by telling him to kill, take him Isaac to Mount Moriah and kill him as a sacrifice God to God. Abraham was confused, but he still trusted God. 
that means like God said one day when Isaac was a boy, um, bring him for the sacrifice. That means like he have to kill Isaac when he he's going to do the sacrifice of Isaac because when they have sinned, they have killed a sheep or an animal and pray to God that sorry I have done bad things but now it's just uh, and Abraham was confused because God has given the son to him but God said kill him as a sacrifice I think Abraham will very confused but here it has written it, he have trust God that is very important thing now he is like he's a boy right he survived the wood and Abraham held the held a knife and torch together they climbed the mountain where is the lamb for that sacrifice asked Isaac God will prove it Abraham replied that means like they were going on the mountain to sacrifice and Isaac was saying where's the lamb, lamb to sacrifice Yet, and Abraham said, God will give us a thing. <laughs> Abraham arranged the Wood. Wait a minute. Sorry, something has fell that from my desk. Arrange it the wood on altar. Tied up Isaac and light him on the wood as he raised the knife to kill Isaac and Angel called his name Abraham like so he was so like really uh, really like like sad but he have just got and laid him on the wood and tie altar and tied up Isaac and he have laid him. But like, do you know why Isaac has not like, oh, that why are you doing like this and like doing like that and try to escape? Because Isaac also knew uh, Abraham have to obey God, so like Isaac was also like staying. And I think Abraham so good. Abraham was going to kill Isaac for a sacrifice. One angel called his name Abraham. What did God tell Abraham to kill as a sacrifice? Number one, a donkey. Number two, Isaac. Number three, the sheep. Number two is correct. God said Isaac. Don't hurt the boy. 
the angel cried. God knew to trust his promise and looked there in the bush. Abraham was caught in the horn, surprised that and said, like an angel said, Stop! Don't hurt the boy! Just God knew you were trust God and you can sacrifice instead of Isaac you can sacrifice the lamb ram is caught by his horn you can sacrifice that they, I think they will be so happy We also have to obey God. When we don't obey God, um, God will like punish us. Like Jesus was, I mean not Jesus. Abraham was also confused, but he also trust God and like obey God. Okay, we also have to um obey God. So Abraham sacrificed the ram instead of his son. He called the place God will prove because God proved the sacrifice just as God has said. His promise came true. Like Abraham was sacrificing that lie instead of his son and he have called that place God will prove because God has Because God has, what do I have to say? Mm. Because God has gave, uh, has trusted the promise. <laughs> Yes, there's a one question. Did Abraham believe God would really keep his promise? Yes, true. Yes, today I read the Bible story. It was fun. Did you enjoy? Then next time I will read The Dreamer. Yes, today I read Abraham's big test. It was fun. Then bye.